This is uh, Camp Cozumere, and it's a different setup than any of the other, of the other nine camps I visited. Start with, this one has a, a big road right on one side of it, and then all of the camp is on the other side. All of the NGOs are lined up on this other side, and also the schools. You have school one, two, three, which is actually six schools, and then kids go to school, and then they let out at around 11, and they go and wa some walk long distances because since all the schools are over here, some kids are at the other side of the of the camp. And then here on this main road, you have Darfur just a few kilometers away. So you have big trucks going by, Sudanese, uh, and, and very different feel than any other camp. Uh, you also have uh, people doing a lot more commerce uh, right on the road every day of the week. Uh, is not Today is not necessarily a market day. These shops are open every single day, uh, like uh, you know, in any other town um, that might, you might visit in Africa. Um, one big issue about being so close to Darfur and having a big main road is that uh, if there is ever any major rebel movement, troops needing to go back and forth, they make it right through here, right next to the camp. There has been fighting inside of the camp where, where uh, fighters, you know, flee into the camp for protection, and, and then uh, you know the refugees get caught in the middle. So it, it's uh, it might be practical to be close to a road for transportation into Chad or into Sudan, but it also has its dangers.